Well, Nidderdale for me is always a bit special because it's outside the National Park and it's a bit of a rogue dale and I quite like that. I like spaces that are a bit, a bit less rarefied sometimes. I remember once being on a tube and having this at rush hour and having this incredibly real sensation that I could smell bilberries from a moor and uh, from the moor that was behind my house when I grew up. And um, I knew it was time to get on the train and come back. It's all about being able to access nature and walk through it like we are today, walking through it, spending time in it in, in a kind of a personal, physical and, and I suppose philosophical sense. In this drowsy light, I not only see where I've walked before, but who I was when I walked there, what I was feeling, what I was thinking. And isn't this how we navigate the sphere? Creating fusions of human and place, attaching meaning and emotions, drawing cognitive maps that make sense of the realm beyond our comprehension. Our connection to the world is always two things at once, instinctive and augmented. <laughs>